Jeff Miskell lives just steps away from the Lafayette River in a house his grandparents bought in the 1950s. Well, in the past, when we would have a storm, the water would not come up even to the yard. That's changed over the last decade with flooding more frequent and severe. Isabel uh, hit in, in the fall of 2003 and came up to about this level right here before it began to recede. Miskel is now faced with the dual threat of rising water and sinking land. We're seeing that as time goes on and this very uniform pressure of all this water sitting on this property for hours on end, the, the organic material that is in the ground is beginning to compress. And with the weight of the water and the weight of the house, the strange thing is, is like I said, every window works, every door works, but you can roll a marble from the back to the front of the house with no push. <laughs> it just goes. Norfolk sits at the mouth of the largest estuary in the United States. There's an intricate network of rivers and creeks that dip into the neighborhoods. With sea level predicted to rise another meter by 2100, city infrastructure is at risk, says Skip Stiles, head of the environmental group Wetlands Watch. Every bridge that we build today, every road that we build today, every sewer line that we put in place today is going to face significant challenges from sea level rise over its useful life before it's replaced again. In the short term, Norfolk has responded with massive construction efforts, such as raising roads and houses and protecting its downtown with flood walls, pumping stations and storm drains. And wetlands are being allowed to regrow. So when you see our plan and, and you Assistant see City Manager Ron Williams says this major artery will be one half meter higher when this project is done. What we've identified is about a billion dollars worth of infrastructure that we need to, that's critical to protect and mitigate during coastal uh, storms. Um, and until we do that, we will still have some vulnerabilities throughout the city. That's quite a hefty bill, he says, the city cannot afford on its own. It's going to really take commitment of the federal and state government to really establish a strategy. Naval Station Norfolk, the world's largest naval base, is a vital part of the region's economy and critical to the nation's security. Retired Naval Captain Joe Bouchard, who commanded the base a decade ago, says the U.S. Congress must act to address climate change, which it has been reluctant to do. Congress needs to overcome that, and they need to put our national security uh, above uh, special interests. Bouchard and others in Norfolk are pushing for federal support and say the military could take the lead and work with local communities to craft a solution to adapt to the increasing threat of climate change before it's too late. Roseanne Skirbel, VOA News in Norfolk, Virginia.